Welcome back everyone to the channel and some more WWE 2K16 My Career Mode. Last part we had our TLC pay-per-view. I'd highly recommend going back and watching said match. With, without a rival at the moment, uh, we haven't climbed up the Intercontinental ladder list, but Sheamus did win the title uh, from Luke Harper at TLC, and now we've been booked in a match on Monday Night Raw, the first Monday Night Raw of the new year with WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins and well I mean we've got we've got multiple matches um you know that we could look to interfere in here I mean we could continue to go after Triple H uh in that sort of aspect there's John Cena and Big Show but I think I think we're gonna we're gonna hold out for a week um you know usually it likes to throw a rival at us we'll, we'll see what happens when it actually comes to this match so let's just jump into me versus Rollins here I have no option to skip entrance, so that usually means someone's coming out. Sorry to break the immersion there, but here we go. Means I'm not getting my match with uh, with Rollins. So here we go. It's Sacramento, California. Crowd's actually alive, unlike they were at TLC. That is the uh, rendition of my theme on my controller. Oh, it's Bo Dallas. It ain't even happening. It ain't happening. I... No. No. No, Bo. No. Do you not remember what has happened when we have encountered each other before? No, we're not having a rivalry. It's just not happening. Come on. Come down here. I dare you. I dare you to come down here. Come on then, Bo. Come on. Excuse me. Thank you very much. I'm going to need this. Come on, Bo. Get out of this ring. You oh, bastard. You this was my opportunity oh, to show what I can do against Seth Rollins. And you've taken it away from me. What a shot. You can hear Give me this steel chair back again. No, Bo. No. Sit down. There we go. Welcome back to the show. This is my guest tonight. Let's talk about Bo Dallas. How do you feel about him ambushing you tonight during your own match? I got ambushed? I felt a gnat on my back earlier. Is that what you were talking about? Well, guess what? That gnat is going to get smashed. Got any more ridiculous questions for me? Things have been getting heated between you two. What are your thoughts on this rivalry? Rivalry? Who is he kidding? And who are you to ask a question like that? He is beneath me and not worth my time. I'm moving on to things that are worth my time. Are we done here? Well, there goes that dream, but we're not going into a rivalry <clears throat> because it is my ambition to head to the Royal Rumble and not have a rival. Just to sort of see what happens, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit interested. So, here we go then. We're on to, we're on to SmackDown. We're facing Bad News Barrett in a matchup, so we're not going to interfere in any of this just here. So, we're going to go straight into our match and, you know, just put on a... You know, a performance as we would normally do and uh, just win because we need to climb this IC title list. So two Brits going to duke it out here on SmackDown in a traditional wrestling match. Here we go. we got Barrett. And I'm just going to work him over just here. Got the arm. Oh, Barrett just beat us to it there. Chain wrestling can still do with a little bit of work. But, you know. Barrett now. Taking advantage of his position. Now we get him back. Rest him down to the ground. Grab that arm. We can definitely have a good match with uh, with Bad News just here. I mean, you know, he's not in the company anymore, so... Oh, we... Get a couple of shots just in there. And we're going to hang him out to dry? Yes, we are. And here we go, then. Back into... No, not into a tie-up. Barrett counters. Sweep him out. Barrett counters again. There's a lot of counters going on in these My Career episodes, you know. I don't tend to get much in. But what do you get when you play on Legend difficulty, you know? 
Here we go. Over he goes. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's oh over I go. And what a reversal from Barrett. Oh, a clothesline into the corner was brutal. There we go. Stomp him just there. And... Soik! No! Oh, beautifully done. Here we go. Up to the top rope. Barrett. Oh! Is Barrett going to go for now? Oh, he's got me. What's this going to be? It's going to be... Oh, uppercut to the back of the head. It's so, okay, Wade. You know, you, you can get your shit in. I'm fine with you getting your, your stuff in. I've got no issue with that whatsoever. He's going for a cover, though. Very early into the matchup, so we obviously get out of that just immediately. It just gives me extra momentum. Don't really see the point in where you're coming from there, Wade. So, we rush him over the ropes. Send him to the outside. Keep your eye on this one. Yeah, this should be good. Barrett's down on the outside. Oh, oh, went for an axe handle and nailed him right in the back there. And now, going to work on those legs. Barrett's got a lot of upper body strength, and he needs some... Obviously, he needs a good vertical base to be able to introduce that power. So if he takes out the legs, most of Barrett's offense is completely gone. Here he goes, though, with a beautiful side slam. Count of five. Barrett goes back into the ring. Calls hold back in. Hole, of course. Oh, both men throwing right hands. Oh, wins a Guri by Hole. Beautifully executed. There's an elbow to the back of the head. And here's the back suplex. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. Yeah, and that's a message you don't want to receive. Bad news oh, and here we go. He's got him under hook. Beautiful the butterfly suplex. Oh, now, what's he going to go for? Picks Barrett up, and he's he going for it. Yes, he is. There's the super kick. Right on the button. Down into the cover, hooking that leg of Wade Barrett. There's one, two... Barrett gets out just on the count of two there. Oh, super kick has been used, you know, in, in past to just set him, set people up for that psycho driver, that vicious drop onto the head. And look at Hull, he's, he's, you know, Barrett gets to his feet. Hull, Hull takes to the outside. Looks like he's just going to take a bit of a breather now. Just so you know, get... Oh, to the back of Barrett's head. Clubbing blow now. And now what are we going to say? What are we going to say? We're on the outside here. A trained bare knuckle brawler. Bad news, Barrett can stand up again. Oh, with a massive elbow. Barrett goes over and delivers a picture perfect back suplex. Barrett appears to be busted open off that elbow. It went into the back of his head with a lot of a lot of velocity. There's some back and forth. Now Hull's got him up. There's a goal oh, gut buster. And a running sent on to the outside. Hull breaks the count, and now continuing to work over Barrett with the knee drop to the head. You know, he's just appears to be measuring. Barrett's busted open quite badly here. He's working the arm. Now he's going to go to the leg now. Look at this. Oh, Barrett kicks him away. Barrett clearly sensing that he's being honed in on here and does not want to take any additional damage. Menacing mentality helped him create. Oh, there's a, there's a running drop kick, though. So many ways of mauling an opponent. You think he transported us from WWE into one of those bare knuckle rings? Back into the ring. Barrett now. Back into the ring. Hold gets him into the corner. What are we going to see? Looks like he's setting him up for something. Oh, here it comes. Top row. What is Hold going for here? We've never seen this before. Some, some kind of muscle buster. Oh! Laying Barrett out with a muscle buster. Yeah, now here it comes. He set him up perfectly for the psycho driver. Barrett is up. And Hull's going to put him straight back down. Look at this. How bad news, Barrett. And he's done. He looks to be done. But Hull, Hull now definitely not signaling for the end of the match. No, because he's gone down. 
He appeared to take a moment, allowed Barrett to catch his breath after the finisher. But Hull now with a side rushing leg sweep gets Barrett back down. Barrett appears to be fighting now. He's seen the opportunity that Hull was presented in, not trying to put him away. And now Barrett is not going to squander this chance. Didn't even get a label to tell me on my speed on that move, so that's a bit of bullshit right there, but there you go. Oh, DDT. Barrett's going to grab a baseball bat. Oh, no! Barrett's caught him! Oh, there's a massive slam. Oh, back and forth now, Holt. Taking Barrett down. Well, the ref grabs the bat. And Barrett once again. These reversals are ridiculously frequent. Into the cover now. And now Holt kicks straight back out. Oh. And now give him a T-bone. Beautifully done. There's an elbow. And now, Paul gets Barrett back up into the super kick one more time. And now Hull climbing to the top rope now. What are we going to see from him? It looks like paying homage to Randy Macho Man Savage. The huge elbow from the top. And that looks like it's going to be all she wrote. Hooks that leg. And there's one, two, three. So we're back on to Raw before the Royal Rumble. Uh, we've still we've got a match against one of the Usos here. We still haven't gone up the ranking for the IC title in a while. I mean, who who's in our way right now? It's Gold Dust is in our way. We beat Gold Dust in a rivalry at the tail end of last year. We lost to Sheamus in that rivalry, so that probably hasn't helped in any way. But we're facing one of the Usos today, Jay Uso, and. Uh, John Cena versus Roman Reigns. My, my. For Monday Night Raw. Long Beach. California again. Sacramento last week. Long Beach this week. The crowd goes wild. Oh, and here comes Gold Dust. Speak of the devil, here comes Gold Dust. Gold Dust with the Bulldog, much like Bo Dallas a week ago. People want a piece of Ho after his, you know, after his victory over Triple H. They're now trying to make names for themselves here. Gold Dust just relentlessly attacking, not allowing Ho to get back to his feet here. Ho fended off Bo Dallas last week. Oh, but here he comes now. He's got Gold Dust and a. Big Michinoku driver now. He fended off Dallas with a steel chair a week ago. This looks like to be one of those old-fashioned beatdowns on Gold Dust here. And he's nailing me in the back. Look at that. Repeated elbows. Oh, but Gold Dust fights back with a knee lift. Oh, and there's a slap from Gold Dust. Hole with the knee. Whips him over now. Working over the arm. Oh, and there's an elbow. And Hole is the one that beats Gold Dust down on the ramp. After another interview with Renee Young, in which I've just said, I don't want no rival. I don't particularly care. We now go one on one with Ryback. If it's the aspect of that we have another absolutely huge matchup on SmackDown, then so be it, because we are putting on clinics on SmackDown. That's going to do for this episode, though. Please leave a like if you have enjoyed and comment any feedback down below. Remember to hit the uh, subscribe button and enable those notifications to be the first to be notified about the content coming to the channel. And I will see you all next time.